Now, the challenge to this is, and I actually think this is an existential problem as a society, is how do we kill these bots out here that are, you know, basically making up somewhere between 30 and 60 percent of the Internet? Yeah. Right. There's some people that think it's that it's even higher. Yeah. Um, but I, I do think that, you know, the bots that are out there that are doing a good job, like the chat interfaces and stuff like that, we need to be able to give them the AI experience like the full content. And look, they're not consuming it yet. They're just now bringing in products with with ACP, Agentic Commerce Protocol. Um, you know, in the future, I want to see images, not just of the product. I want to see what Ralph Lauren is trending whenever I'm looking at products or previews of the app that I'm downloading or the website. Like I want to see a little more of the experience, not just this text-based solution where I've got to read things. I want to be visual. And I think that in order for it to get to everybody, we have to cater to those kind of people that are not the technical people out there that are people that want to see what things look like. I mean, um, because like you mentioned, man, the, the AIs are mostly looking at the text. They're not determining what it is. And look, they're freaking amazing. Okay. But like we let off with just because it's amazing, magical technology doesn't make it great for everybody yet. Now well, it yeah, will I mean, be definitely not. I, so I, do you remember VRML way back when? Yeah. So yeah. and for those that don't know, VRML it was the, the very first virtual reality on the web. It was supposed to be like HTML, except for virtual reality. And initially, it was kind of a big deal. Browsers started supporting it. And I'll never forget a conference about <laughs> this. And there was this gentleman who was talking about the new e-commerce experience in VRML. And he <laughs> described going to the grocery store and how you would walk through the aisles and how you would gra grab a can of tomato soup and you'd look at it and you could physically place it in your cart. And that's how it was going to be. And I immediately knew that couldn't possibly be true because what a pain in the ass that would be. Yeah, right? Isn't exactly. it so much better to just search tomato soup? You find your People favorite. People do buy in Roblox, though, but they buy digital products.